Well, it's time for an update on something that we've been talking about really now for about a month, uh, or maybe a little over a month, and that is the art contest and exhibit, which is coming up, opening up on Thursday, January 31st at the Indian Mountain School uh, from 5 till 8 o'clock with an opening reception. Uh, it's entitled Sanctuary, and since the last time we spoke, uh, I hear off the record that there's just an amazing amount of uh, submissions. Sam, nice to speak to you again. Hey, it's nice to be spoken to. <laughs> no, the, uh, you're absolutely right. The uh, number of <laughs> entries, uh, I think about 26 in the first year, which took 24 for exhibit, leaving two out. Now it's 97, leaving, you know, 50 out. Um, so that's, it's really, it's tough. But you see, uh, as I have had the privilege of looking at the what's going to go up, um, and you realize how much effort was put in by people that won't even get to show, much less win a prize. That That's a little hard if you're an artist, um, you know, as I am yourself. Um, the, the things that don't happen uh, really bring, bring you down. You know, it's interesting to look at this because uh, almost 100 people uh, uh, entering uh, for this exhibit and, and contest uh, and like you said, uh, your first year you just had about 20-some up, and now even with having 40-some there, uh, artists uh, have to take it on the chin every once in a while. I know I know myself, I have to take it on the chin when I don't always get what I want uh, uh, applying for stuff in, in broadcasting. Uh, but one thing I think that I find about painters is they're and artists and sculptors and anybody who's in this type of business, uh, they're pretty resilient. Yes, they are outside, but inside it hurts really bad. Now, now all these pictures that, that you've accepted will be at the opening re reception and presentation on Thursday the 31st, and this is open to the public from 5 till 8 o'clock in the evening, is it not? Yes, that's right. And we'll probably uh, announce the winners uh, about halfway through that, I would say, maybe 6 o'clock, 7 now, for you people who want to uh, see the art and maybe not make it there that night, the gallery at the IMS Student Center uh, Gallery will be open through March the 1st. And one thing we should say, Sam, not only do, do the uh, the top people that get the winners get money, but also uh, proceeds from the sale of the artwork are going to be split 50-50 uh, and go to the IMS annual fund. Exactly. I know all the details because I'm buying one of the paintings, uh, <laughs> and uh, this is splitting the, the uh, proceeds with uh, IMS, which is terrific. I think it's uh, this it was originally conceived as the idea was to give the building an opening worthy of the architecture, which is superb and has held up through the years. It's still as exciting a building and as warm a building. As, as there is anywhere around this area. And, and you designed that building, did you not? No, I didn't. Oh, I thought that was one of your projects. I wish I had. <laughs> uh, I helped pick the, the, the architects, uh, and I, I, I one vital thing that I did that I'm very proud of, the central hallway was going to be whatever it was, and I asked to add another six feet to the width of this long hallway. And that's what gave us the gallery, because if it, uh, without that extra width, we wouldn't have been able to hang pictures in a sensible way. So now you have, uh, uh, do you have all your judges lined up as well? We certainly do, and thank you for asking. Uh, we have uh, Terry Moore, uh, who runs the Tremaine Gallery up at Hotchkiss, and she's an art teacher as well. We have Theo Colomb, which is, uh, he's the director of the Standard Space Gallery in Sharon. Now, this is recently open, so um, he'd love to see you guys down there. It's right, right in Sharon, heart of Sharon. Finally, we have Frank Oz, a great friend of mine. Um, for many years, he's an actor, a director of major motion pictures, a producer, a wonderful man. 
Well, that sounds like a great a trio of judges. And, yes, we know Theo well. He's doing a lot of great things on the corner right as you come on to the green in Sharon. Uh, and uh, that gallery is going to be on the cutting edge. It is on the cutting edge, but I think more and more people will find out about it. Well, I certainly look forward to it. I haven't been able to get down there so far. but uh, I... Well, you know, once again, uh, the art contest and exhibit Sanctuary uh, is all getting all set now with all the art uh, turned in and accepted. The art contest and exhibit has an opening for the public on Thursday, January 31st from 5 until 8 p.m. at the Indian Mountain School Student Center. And as Sam said uh, last time we spoke, there's going to be refreshments and food there, so... <laughs> Uh, you can make a, a nice evening of it. And then if you see something you like and you'd like to purchase it, well, 50% of the proceeds go to benefit the IMS annual fund. Uh, not, not to be forgotten, uh, the prize is, is uh, third, $1,500, second place $3,500, first place five grand. So it's, it's really a worthwhile uh, endeavor. Uh, the odds of succeeding may be long, but the rewards are very big. Well, that's great prizes for the top three, and I think everybody who's involved in getting their art shown uh, are going to be happy as well. Uh, so, well, it's good luck on the opening uh, date. Once again, uh, it is on Thursday, January 31st Sanctuary, the art contest and exhibit, and they will select the three winners, and that'll be announced that night along with the opening of the show. Sam, always great to speak to you. Terrific. Good to speak to you.